Hey, how is everyone today? Welcome back to step two of making my Jeep JK a towed vehicle for my RV. Uh, we're in a garage today, the weather's not cooperating, so bear with me. Uh, I'm going to install a Hopkins wiring kit. This one specifically is for the JK, but they make them in many uh, different options for different vehicles. What's nice about this kit though is it's, it's virtually plug and play. You're just going to remove the tail lights plug in where the tail light's plugged in and then run a wire up to the front where it will connect to a uh, six pin connector that will allow me to connect to the RV. So the first thing I have to do is remove both sets of tail lights to gain access back there and let's start. Now the nice thing about a JK is you only need to remove these two inner screws to remove the tail lights. So you back these two screws out and the tail light will just slide over. Now, in order to disconnect, this is a little screwdriver. There's a little spot in there to put the screwdriver. Just pop it, and it'll pop right out really easy. And we'll put this to the side. Okay, we're going to start on the driver's side, and that's going to be where the diode goes. Now, the, the kit's really simple. Like I said, it's just a wiring harness, and it's got side for the passenger side, which is the green wire. The yellow wire is going to go to the driver's side, and it comes with a diode. It's already pre-wired. That prevents any back feed from the Jeep going to the RV. And it's simple. We're just going to plug each in between the lights. But the first thing to do is you want to get all this wire that's got to go up front and to the passenger side down the vehicle. And there's just a piece of foam in here. And you can see there's wires going down. I'm just going to follow those wires and feed it right down below the Jeep. So the wires are through the bottom, and like I said, it's a big gaping hole there with a piece of foam. They come out the bottom here, like this. Um, I found it easier to put some tape on some of these wires to kind of control it a little bit. Now, the only thing you need to do is attach this diode to something. Now, on a JK, there's really not many areas to do that here, and you want it to be solid so it doesn't rattle around. There's a cross beam here. And I'm just going to zip tie this to the cross beam, and that will hold it nice and tight. And they do give you zip ties. They're a little small. I'm going to use my own, which are a little bit bigger. Okay, I've got the zip tie in there, and it's nice and tight against that post. And just make sure your wires are not pinched behind it or anything, and that's nice and steady. Now, this vehicle has a tow kit. Now, if you look at the wiring on the driver's side on a tow kit, wiring comes from the Jeep, it goes into the tow kit, goes down to the tow kit, and it also feeds the tail light. You do not want to separate this plug. You want the plug that goes directly into the tail light. That's where we're going to install the Hopkins. Okay, put some dielectric grease here. Some on there. Some on the connections. So very easily. This harness is going to go from the Hopkins harness. Into the tail light and it will click. And then from the Jeep to the harness. click in. There you go. And that's it. I'm going to put all these wires back in here and then we'll connect the tail light. All snugged up. Now the next thing is to go underneath and we're going to run that orange, green, and brown wire over to the tail light. So if we're on the passenger side, unlike the big uh, hole on the driver's side, there's a big piece of foam in here that you're going to break off and give you access, this foam here, it'll give you access to the plastic panel that's down there. And the 
plastic panel just fell out. Let me see. Yep, there it is. So this plastic panel covers up the hole there. So I'm just going to notch this a little bit and then we'll be able to run the wires up. Okay, so I've run the passenger side wires along the hitch, along the bottom. I wire tied it. I have it up into the chamber. The little plastic piece that covers there, I cut a little notch in there. I'm going to slip that in and have the wires come up through here. And then we'll connect the light. Now I have a little piece of a turn bond tape. I'm going to put down there to hold that plastic in because I'm not going to put foam back in there. If I could see. And this will definitely hold that plastic piece in. Okay. Put some dielectric grease on, grease on these connections. Get the light and plug it in. First one is the vehicle to the Hopkins wiring kit. And we'll click in and then the Hopkins wiring kit to the light. And that is as simple as it gets. Now, the wiring is done to the taillights. The only thing left is I'm going to run the wire up along the frame to the front of the vehicle. First I'll clean this up, I'll turn the Jeep around and so I can work on this side. Alright, I've run this wire from the Hopkins kit all along the frame up into the engine bay and up behind the bumper and that's going to connect to my six pin plug. I also purchased a charge line kit from Roadmaster and I'm a little disappointed. It came with six and a half feet of wire which is barely enough. I'm probably going to have to dip into my supply and it comes with this breaker and it's just a 15 amp uh, thermal type breaker which connects between the charge wire and the towed battery and what that does is allow your RV uh, off the 7 pin hot lead, the 12 volt lead to send 14 plus volts to your towed vehicle while you're towing as it'll keep this battery here charged uh, especially if you're using a, a brake or you have to keep the key ignition on that, that battery can run down this should keep it charged up so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just let this wire hang I'm going to start running this red wire up through the engine bay towards the battery okay so I've run this red lead down behind the radiator and it's up here now. This is the 15 amp thermal fuse. There's a copper post and a silver post. The copper post always goes between the wire and the source battery. So that this wire is going to go to the copper post. The silver post, the wire will go to the positive of your toad. Now to give you two self-tapping screws and I'm just going to try and find a place here to uh, mount it and then we can make the connections. Okay. okay, so my fuse is mounted here to the side of the Jeep. You're going to need a piece of the wire to go from the silver post to the positive of the towed battery. So we're going to get a length which is about there and we'll cut that off and strip that both ends okay now one there's three eye rings they give you a large and two small the large is going to go on here which will attach to the towed battery. So we'll crimp that on. Pull on it, make sure you get a good connection. And then we're going to do one of the smaller ones. And that will go to the fuse. Again, put your wire in. Put it in, crimp it.
Okay, and that's tight. So we can put, again, silver post to the towed battery. And we're going to put that nut on. Now this is a wire that's going to go to the 6-pin connector that's going to get the power from the RV. We'll strip that wire. Actually need a little bit more than that. Okay. Small ring. And then we'll crimp it. Give it a good tug so you make sure you have good contact. And we'll put that on the copper post on the fuse. Okay, posts are tight. Now I'm going to leave the wire that connects to the towed battery disconnected right now until I'm finished with all my wiring in front and I'll wire tie this down before I make all the connections. All my wires are to the front of the uh, Jeep now near the bumper and now it's time to mount the plug. So I have the green, yellow and brown which goes to the tail lights and I have this red wire that goes to the battery that's going to be the charge line kit. I have a curt mount for a curt plug. It slips in here like this and it'll mount to the bottom of the bumper. And that'll allow you to plug in your 6-pin cord to the Jeep and your 7-pin cord uh, plug to the RV. So let's wire this all up. So I have the plug mount mounted to the bumper. Now what I'm going to do is the plug comes with a plastic back. Now in order to get this on you need to put these on the wires first behind the mount. This plug will not go through there. So we're going to feed the wires through. Then feed them through the mount. Okay, I'll cut a little bit of this off, but I'm going to leave some extra so it's easy to work. strip these back. I have all my wires stripped back. I put some tape around this to keep them all together and neat. And you'll notice I added a white wire. That's included in the kit. It's a couple feet long and that's going to be your ground. And that simply goes through here and there is a self-tapping screw. I just attached it to the frame for a good ground. Now, the Kurt plug has six pins and they're all labeled. You'll see two labels. A is the center pin and S is the pin right below it. One is for your auxiliary, which is your 12 volt power, and S is for your brakes. Now, obviously we're not gonna have uh, electronic brakes here, but you need to determine on your seven way pin from your trailer, which one is the 12 volt power coming from your RV. Now these are sometimes reversed on RV, so you have to check. It just doesn't ordinarily go to the A pin. It may go to the S pin. And as luck has it, I checked my RV and the power comes through the S pin on the six pin cord, the seven to six pin cord. So I'm gonna connect the red, which is going to the battery of my toad, to the S pin, not the A pin. Again, these are interchangeable. It depends how your RV is wired. You'll need to check that. Okay, so mine's going to go to the S pin and I'm going to do that one first and simply put it in a grommet and tighten it up. Now these just need to be snug. You don't really need to crush them. You don't want to crush them. You'll damage the copper wire. So just, just so it's tight, give it a pull. Now you're going to look for the next pin is right, RT. Right is your green wire. So I'm going to put my green wire in. Okay. 
snug that up. Again, not over tighten, just snug so when you give it a tug it doesn't come. The next one says LT, that's your left light, and that is yellow. The next is GD, which stands for ground. And again, that's my white wire that comes included in the kit. It's not attached to the harness. It's attached to the four-way plug. You're gonna remove it. And you just run it in and to a ground on the vehicle. So we got that in there. We'll tighten that down. And the last wire is my brown wire. That's the tail marker light. And the pin is labeled TM. So we'll get that in there. That one's gonna be a little tough since it's the last one. There we go. Okay, I have all my wires connected. Give them a tug. Now what I'm going to do is put some dielectric grease on here. I'm going to stick it through the mount, put the boot on. I'll tape that once it's in. And they give you a nut and bolt to attach it to the mount. So it'll go in like that. And we'll be all done. We'll get Then we can connect the battery. Okay. Last thing was to connect that positive wire to the positive of the battery and we're all done. Simple plug and play, the only wiring is that plug in the front and uh, now she's all wired for towing behind the RV until the next step. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.